Mr. President, the interpreter is here. Thank you, Dixie. Come in, son. Come in. Good morning, Mr. President. I suppose it could be. What do the polls say? The polls say sunny and mild through Thursday. Then it's a good day. <laughs> what is your name, son? William. Then you won't mind if I call you Billy Bob. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. President. I think the State Department must have briefed you on the important mission that we have here this morning. Yes, sir. I am to act as an interpreter. That's right. For a highly important private conference. That's right. Between two of the world's greatest leaders. That's half right. <laughs> now listen, this is a crucial meeting. Mm -hmm. When heads of state get together, it is extremely important that each man understands exactly what the other is saying. Not just the words, but the meaning behind those words. You must relay to me his mood, his intention, every little nuance, so that I may detect the real deep meaning of his every expression. I understand, sir. I must tell you what he means in spite of what he says. The Prime Minister is here, Mr. President. Thank you, Crystal. Now, Billy Bob, follow him closely, Billy Bob. Don't let me be misled by this man's foreign language. Good morning, Mr. Prime Minister. How are you all? The missus says she hopes your kin are all okie-dokie. <laughs> Sir, the President says greetings and that his wife extends cordial best wishes for good health to your family. <clears throat> I see. Well, good. Tell your President that all is jolly well in Fortress Britannia and that Mimon says cheers and Her Majesty expresses her most heartfelt salutations. Uh, sir, the Prime Minister says likewise and that the Queen says howdy. LAUGHTER 